Here's how to blow up the conversion rate of your opt-in forms on your website using High Level. I actually did a lot of research on this and randomly found the answer in a kid's book. I made a video explaining the theory and the concepts of micro commitment and behavioral congruency. But in this video, I'm just gonna show you how to click the buttons and get this done in High Level. So let's dive in. Okay, now I'm just logged in to my white label version of High Level here. This is a demo account. I call it Rockstar CRM. That's why it looks a little bit different to your version of High Level. If you don't have a version of high level, then just go and get one so that you can follow along. This is just a demo account I use to teach these tutorials so there's no real data in here. What I'm gonna do in this video is show you how to set up your opt-in form so that you can start collecting names, emails, and phone numbers and have them piped straight into your CRM. And then I'm gonna show you how to put that form on a pop-up on your opt-in page because as we've spoken about in previous videos, forms in pop-ups convert way higher than just having a static form on the page, and that is due to micro-commitment and behavioral congruency. Yes, they are real things, I did not make them up. Go and check out our YouTube channel and uh, learn more about how to increase the conversions on your website by reading kids' books. That's the video I made about that. So this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a form. We come over to Sites here, and then we go to our Form Builder, and if you're following along, you should have our snapshot. You've got some forms already built in here. I'm gonna to go to the Agency Mavericks List Builder snapshot, and I'm gonna choose, these forms are exactly the same, they, they just have a different color scheme uh, to try and make your life easy. I'm just gonna choose the dark form here, and I'm going to open it in the Form Builder and just walk you through it. Okay, we have a full name field, we have an email address field and a phone number. If I click on a field, the properties inspector is over here. I can see that this field is required and I have just put my placeholder here into your full name. And then in the options of the form, I've decided to hide the label. If I show the label, it looks like that. I just wanna hide my label and make it a bit more of a better user experience. So enter your full name, enter your email address, enter your phone number. Uh, they're the three fields. I then have my double opt-in compliance here. I agree to terms and conditions provided by, obviously you need to change this and uh, make that say whatever you need it to say and that terms and conditions there should be a link if you just highlight it and click the ellipsis, you can then link to your actual terms and conditions instead of example.com, okay? Now the only other thing you might wanna change is the button uh, color here, you can change the button color and the text color is further down the page here. You can also change the font, the size, the weight, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, for the purpose of this exercise, I don't need to change anything. I'm just gonna keep this as is. Full name, email address, and phone number. That's the information I want when somebody opts in for one of our free resources. They're not prepared to give me their phone number. I don't want them. These are required fields. You cannot opt in my forms without a phone number. And I've also got enable country picker turned on here so that when you see this on the front end, uh, a international country code selector appears so you can choose which country you are from. And that again is just so that I get more valid phone numbers so I can actually talk to people and see if they're a good fit to become a customer. So that's what my form looks like. I can preview it if I want to. It will kick open a new tab and show me there. Okay, there's my international uh, phone selector there. Uh, that's what the form looks like, but that's not really relevant because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this form in a pop-up on my opt-in page. So I'm going to save this form. There are some integration options as well. You can put this form on an external website by using uh, the, the embed code. You can just have this as a link uh, and you've got some options here, which I'm not gonna do any of these options because I'm actually gonna use this form on a pop-up on my opt-in page, okay? So I'm just ignoring the integrate section here for now. So now that I've saved my form, I go back to sites, I go to my funnels, and I go to my Agency Mavericks list builder funnel, and I go to my opt-in page, and I, again, I'm just gonna choose the dark funnel here for a, a style. And again, these funnels are not meant to be designed, they're meant to be kind of rudimentary black and white versions just to get you started. Uh, so that you're not staring at a blank screen, but they're not meant to be designed. You need to apply your design to them. In my opt-in page here, I'm going to edit the opt-in page. And what I'm gonna do is have a look at the pop-up that appears on this page when somebody clicks the button. So when somebody clicks this button here, what's going to happen if I look at the actions for this button, down here it will say, what do you want this button to do? I want this button to open the pop-up. And then up here, I have my pop-up settings and here is my pop-up. I've got a 
progress bar here in a headline. I'll make another video about how to uh, implement all the components on the opt-in page and what to include. But for the purpose of this video, I just wanna show you how to add a form here. The form's already here, so if I just come over to settings, you'll see now the form is chosen from my drop-down list. I'm gonna choose opt-in form dark, and this is the form. I could change that to be the orange one, and it will show me the orange form or the red one. It'll show me the red form. I'm just gonna choose the dark one, which is the one I just updated. The beautiful thing about high level is I don't need to worry about integrations or HTML code or JavaScript or API keys or any of that boring stuff because the form is built in high level, the opt-in page is in high level, the pop-up is in high level. So goodbye ConvertBox, goodbye opt-in monster, goodbye my form builder, goodbye my page builder. It's all here in one platform and goodbye zapping the, the customer record into Infusionsoft or ActiveCampaign and hoping that the zap doesn't break. It's all integrated into the one platform, which is why I love high level so much. The main reason I love High Level so much is because it has allowed me to minimize the browser tabs I have open, which is really good for my attention span. Too many browser tabs open, I can't get anything done. The less browser tabs open, the more productive I am, which is the main reason I use High Level. All right, so that is how you embed your form into a pop-up, super easy. Now, full transparency, it looks here like there's lots of padding. I'm gonna save this page and show you what it looks like on the front end in a preview. I think in the snapshot, I've given you some custom CSS that's built in that removes this padding on the front end so it doesn't look so ridiculous. I'm gonna preview this page now with my preview link. Uh, here's the page. I click on Get Instant Access. There is my pop-up. There is my form. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. That thing is going to convert way higher than if you just put your form here with a button to submit, okay? Because of micro-commitment and behavioral congruency. Behavioral congruence. Congruence? Congruency. Behavioral congruence. Congruence. Because of micro-commitment and behavioral congruence. And yes, I just like saying those things over and over again. So that's how you get your form in a pop-up on your landing page in High Level. This video is sponsored by High Level, but they have no control over the content, so just to see if they're paying attention. I've been using High Level for over two years now to run our multiple seven figure a year business and it's been a game changer. That's why I genuinely, hand on heart, believe that High Level is the sales and marketing platform that you should use if you run a digital agency or if you're looking to start a web design or SEO or digital marketing agency. It's a fantastic tool to run your own business and also you can resell it, white label every part of it and resell it to an unlimited number of clients for a stupidly low flat monthly price. It's an absolute game changer. I know from the outside, it might look like a bit of a cult or a multi-level marketing platform. That's exactly how I felt when I first discovered High Level and I didn't pull the trigger for a good 18 months to two years. I regret that decision now because if I had pulled the trigger early on, I wouldn't have paid HubSpot $50,000 a year for software that doesn't do all the things that High Level does. So, you know, lesson learned. So just take High Level for a free 30 day trial. If you sign up with my link, you get a 30 day trial. So it's not gonna cost you anything and we'll give you our snapshots and our training to get you up and running and get you moving in the right direction. All right, if you like this video, click the thumb that does that, smash the bell, hit subscribe, share, do all that kind of good stuff and uh, leave us a comment, let us know what you wanna learn next and we might even make a video just for you. All right, I'm Troy Dean, let's get to work.